Dairy is big business in Wisconsin. We are America's dairy land, and our dairy farmers take care of the land and water, take care of their cows, and produce safe, high-quality milk that's made into cheese and other dairy products. Let's learn how dairy products are made. All of your favorite dairy products start out on a Wisconsin dairy farm. Do you know how the milk gets from the cow to your table? There are a few important steps along the way. Let's start on the farm. Dairy farmers milk their cows at least two times a day. Cows are milked using a suction method that pulls the milk from their udder. Don't worry, it doesn't hurt her. It's just like a baby sucking its thumb. On many farms, the milk from the cow travels through a series of hoses and pipes, which are connected to a holding tank called a bulk milk tank. This tank is where milk from every cow on the farm is chilled and stored until the milk truck picks it up. On the farm we are visiting today, instead of going to a holding tank, the milk is pumped through pipes into the milk house where it goes through this chiller. So this is our plate cooler. This is a device we use on our farm to cool our milk. Milk leaves a cow at about 101 degrees and it travels through a series of pipes to this unit. Inside this unit, super chilled water cools the milk to about 36 degrees, which makes it ready for transport to our cheese company. By using this unit, we are able to use electricity more efficiently and we're able to recycle this water by feeding it to our cows and we use it on other parts of our farm as well. The milk truck driver tests the milk to make sure it is pure before he puts it into his tanker. Then he connects the hose from his truck to the bulk tank. He flips a switch and all the milk is pumped into his truck. The milk truck will visit several farms and when the truck is full, he delivers the milk to a dairy plant. All the milk will be tested again at the dairy plant before it's made into food. Wisconsin has more than 200 dairy plants that process milk into foods for you to enjoy, like the milk that you drink and the cheese and yogurt you have for a snack. Let's start with milk. Milk has calcium for your teeth and bones, protein for your muscles, and vitamins and minerals to keep you healthy. After the milk is tested at the dairy plant, it is pasteurized. That means it's heated to 160 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 seconds and then quickly cooled to destroy any germs. After that, it's packaged as white or flavored milk. Milk at your grocery store is fresh from the farm. Much of the milk delivered to the grocery store was at the farm just two days before. Most of the milk that you drink is homogenized. Homogenization breaks the fats in milk into smaller sizes so it doesn't separate. If milk is not homogenized, the fat, which is lighter, will eventually rise to the top. Do you know what else is made from milk? I'll give you a hint. It might be your favorite snack and is often used to make parfaits. Have you guessed what it is yet? Well, if you guessed yogurt, you're right. And while Wisconsinites do like drinking milk, almost all of the milk, nine out of every 10 gallons, is made into cheese. Wisconsin cheesemakers craft over 600 varieties, types, and styles of cheese. Cheese is made with milk by adding special cultures and enzymes to it to get it to thicken. Cultures give the cheese flavor, and the enzymes, called rennet, help make it solid. After it is thickened, it looks like a big vat of milk gelatin. This means the milk has curdled, hence the name curd. The curd is then cut and stirred to release the whey. Whey is essentially water and liquid protein that is separated from the milk solids. The whey is drained and the curd is put into forms allowing the cheese to take its shape. Cheese might be aged in a temperature-controlled room for a period of time before being delivered to stores. Can you guess what kind of cheese Wisconsin makes the most of? Do you think it's cheddar or Colby? Perhaps Swiss or Brick? Nope. Of all the different kinds of cheese made here in the state, mozzarella cheese is made the most. Think about that next time you're eating your cheese pizza. Many dairy products are made right here in Wisconsin. So take pride that you're growing up in America's dairy land. And remember to eat three servings of dairy every day for strong bones, strong teeth, and good health. Now let's take a quick quiz to see how well you listen. Milk contains nutrients. Can you name two? 
The most important one starts with a C. Did you guess calcium? Then you're correct. Another starts with the letter P. If you guess protein, you got it right. Good job. How many servings of dairy products should you eat each day? A, one. B, two. C, three. If you said C or three, you are correct. Wisconsin makes the most of which kind of cheese? A, cheddar. B, Swiss. C, mozzarella. If you chose C, mozzarella, you're correct. Well done, just like pizza. Can you name any other dairy products? Milk, ice cream, whipped cream, cottage cheese, cream cheese, cheese, yogurt, sour cream, butter. Now you know all of the foods that are made with milk. Now be sure to eat three servings of dairy for a healthy body.